all right y'all so i said i was going to come back on camera when i have most of my hair done and as you can see it reaches to the middle of my back so now is when the tutorial is going to start okay so what i'm going to do is grab the cuban twist hair this is how it looks originally you do not need the hair this chunky so what you're going to do is split it in half okay so these are for two different braids so you can just toss this one aside um where's my crochet needle okay. so i'm gonna take one down right i'm gonna open the latch on my crochet needle i'm gonna put it through what <laughs> Then I'm just going to twist it a little so I can get it inside the latch. Oops. Okay. Close it and pull it through, right? So you're only going to pull half of it through. So it's going to look something like this. So one side is going to have to be longer than the other. It's going to be like this looking. It's going to be basically the same size as your other so, locks let me explain there's different types of length with the free tress hair this one i got is extra long so it's going to be enough just enough for the whole lock so you're going to need two strands of the free tress hair and we're just going to fluff it out a little bit shouldn't be too fluffy you should definitely see the curl pattern still okay and this is both of the strands together and then we're gonna get our crochet needle put it through the braid again okay then we're gonna twist the hair a little so it could fit in the latch. Okay. Put it on through, close the latch, and pull a loop through. Now, same as the Cuban hair, you're not going to be pulling the whole hair through, just half. And you're going to make sure, once again, that there is a shorter end and a basically a longer end. So all that hair in one hand. So basically the whole Cuban twist along with the other half of the crochet, what do you call that? The free tress. And then we're going to twist it around. Now for the root, you're going to twist it around the root probably two, three times. And then start going down, basically. Now we're going to start putting the little, um, I don't know, making it a little messy. So what you're going to do is grab your index finger and put it through the free tress hair and still twist it around two or three times to secure a little loop. Ooh. Then you could take your finger out. And you could do the loop every so often depending on how messy you want the hair to look. the free tress hair 
and just leave the little bit of Cuban twist you have left and cut the Cuban twist off. Fold the hair back up and twist it going upwards. I grab, you can use a rat tail comb, dip it in. I dip mine in hair glue. Hold on. Oops. Okay, so I dip it in hair glue. And I just rub it on the back. And twist it on in. Do a little rub. And we're ready to go. Where is this? Okay guys, so now I'm going to be explaining it through a voiceover. I don't know which one's going to be better, but right now, as you can see, I already pulled, well, in the process of pulling my Cuban twist hair through. Remember, you guys, you are not pulling the whole thing through, just half of it. And we're going to make sure that one half is longer than the other, as you can see what I'm showing you. So now we are going to prep our free tress hair. You are going to need two strands of the free tress hair. Then you are going to start fluffing it out. Be sure to not ruin the, com the complete pattern of the hair. We're going to make sure that it's just nice and fluffy, just stretched out, but not too much. So it should be looking like this. This is both strands put together. So right now we're going to put our free tress hair in. So the same way you put the Cuban twist in is the same way you're going to be putting the free tress hair in. And I'm going to be showing you how it should be looking as you put it through. Notice how I am putting one end longer than the other. That shorter end that you see is going to be the end you are going to be pulling through the hair. Remember you guys, one strand of hair is always going to be longer than the next half of that strand. You're going to see as I show you. So now we're going to grab all the hair except for that long strand that you see there and then we're going to start twisting it around the root two to three times. We do this so we can secure the top of the lock and make sure that it stays in place. So right now I am twisting two to three times and after that I'm going to start going down the hair and then I'm going to start putting in the, the loops making it look all messy. Now to make the loop, we're going to use our index finger and push it through the strand and then we're going to continue as normal. Make sure to go under your index finger when wrapping it back around. You don't want to wrap it around your whole hand. While in this position, you want to twirl it around maybe two or three times to make sure you don't lose that loop. And then you could make the loops as randomly as you please, as messy as you want, depending on however you like it. Now that we have finished twisting it all the way down, we are just going to take that tiny piece of free tress hair and make it go along with the other piece, just leaving the Cuban twist by itself. 
After we do that, we are going to cut off that piece of Cuban twist because we no longer need it. Now that we cut that piece off, we are going to flip the hair upwards and wrap it right back around going the opposite way as we did going down the hair. So this part, duh, excuse me. <laughs> this part should be easier, at least to me, than it was going down as it is coming up. Did that make sense? <laughs> After wrapping it back up, we should be left with that small strand that you see there. Now we're going to use our rat tail comb, dip it in our hair glue, and we're going to con conceal? That makes sense? We're going to, we're just going to put it on there <laughs> and finish twist it on the lock. After twisting it on the lock, we're going to rub it between our hands, and after that, you are good to go. Okay, and this is the final look. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.